Hello y'all, this is Elizabeth, and I'm pretty sure you have, I mean you have met, and this is called YouTube, and I really pray and hope and really want if you would subscribe and like and comment, and it's Houndrup y'all, it's H-O-U-N-D-R-U-P-Y-A, and then a little comma thing, and then L-L, um, it is a YouTube channel, um, that I put, um, I do my videos usually on, my, my sister does it on Monday, I usually do it on Wednesday, and we both are on here on Saturdays. The time is not totally specific. Usually it'll be in the afternoon we'll probably be putting it, or maybe in the evening, um, or maybe in the morning, like once in a while, so just keep on watching, and we're going to try to get a, a set schedule because it will help you all out, and it would be really nice if you'd subscribe to it so you can get updates and when we're going to have videos. Um, and if I do a special video, I will let you know. Like, you can kind of, like, if there's something going on, I'll let you know about that. So, if you just subscribe, it's a red button. It's free. It's really nice to do. Um, it just notifies you of the videos that are coming up. And I have subscribed to about, like, a lot of people. And it was really, um, good to do. Um, if you do subscribe, it's good to look at their videos. And make sure they don't have any bad language or any... Um, not so good things, but if you want to subscribe to whoever you want to subscribe, that's free too. But I would prefer if you would subscribe to me, um, and my sister, Hound Up Y'all, and our dog is, has been here lately all the time, but her name's Ginger, and she will be in here a lot, and you'll really enjoy her, and just stay tuned. Sometimes we might not put a video in a couple of days or whatever, but we will put a video, and just, you just have to be patient on that one. But as I know, if you subscribe, you will get uh, notifications on that. It's a little red button on the top of our page. I don't know if you all just go on YouTube, um, just go in the Google search bar, Safari, whatever kind of uh, website thing you have. Go in the Google thing, type in Handle Up Y'all. Um, and, or you can just, the easiest way that I usually do, just go right on YouTube, put YouTube.com, go on YouTube.com, go in the search bar, put Handle Up Y'all in the search bar. You will see me and my sister with a brown dog, with, she's a beagle. And you will see her on the home page, and just click on that. And when you click on it, it will go right to our page. And there's videos on there. Um, there's a fall video. There's a nail polish video. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types of videos. Um, craft videos, hairstyle videos. My sister's done videos that I have done, and videos that we both have done. So just go check that out. There'll be more videos coming up. And this video is ding 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 ding. ding. Um, it is called fall. And, um, it is fall because it's really nice, and the seasons, and the leaves, and everything, and I'm so excited about fall. Um, I like, um, the winter months, I like fall months, I like summer months, I like spring months, and basically, like, all the months. So, if you want to do videos in, like, every single season, about, ev like, whatever you want me to do, just comment below on this video, and just let me know what you'd like me to do, and I'll be glad to do that. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to show you some things that I like for the fall. I'm going to be showing you some shoes. I'm going to be showing you some skirts. And I have uh, four pairs of shoes to show you and some skirts to show you. And I will be showing you where they're from. And I'm not going to be telling you everything about them. But I just wanted to share this with you because this is some ideas about fall, y'all. And we really need to get in the fall mood. If you're already in the fall mood, thumbs up. So glad. High five. Woo! Okay, so it's really good to get in the fall mood, really exciting, and not just in the fall mood, every single season is a gift from God, and you really need to know about every single season, because every single season is really nice to celebrate it, and, um, and when it's Christmas, I'll be doing Christmas videos, and all that good stuff, so I'm just going to jump right into this video, so, I'll be back. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. The first skirt that I have for you today y'all today, is a skirt that I think is really pretty and sort of like if you want to dress up a little bit and you want it to be folly, it has like a mixture of different colors. Um, it is a skirt that is very pretty and I have got it, um, I believe from a friend that, um, set her church. And I don't really want to say everybody's names because this is not like that. If you want to know her name, you want to know more about that, you'll have to comment below and subscribe. So, and this is just a, um, it has orange in it. It's orange pink, like, sparkly, sort of cute. And it's a little past my knee. 
close to my knee, so this is not really a long fit, and it's not too tight, so it's really good, and I don't really like things that are really too tight or that are way too short because that's not modest, and it's, it would be way too short. Now, if you like shorter things, then that's great. You can comment below and tell me whatever, um, and I will feel free to do that. Um, you just have to comment below and let me know what you want me to do first. <laughs> and this is um, cute. For like, this is going to be in the fall. You can also wear this in like, maybe closer to winter months. But I would not prefer. I think this is really good for the fall. And it's just a nice skirt. So yeah. Okay, next skirt I have for you today. Is a brown skirt. Now we all know, brown, green, red, um, orange, um, purple, and all them like dark colors are really good for the fall. And... It's just, it's not like you have to dress up for the fall or be all good and like really fancy in the fall, but I just want to let you know that it's really nice to try to wear the colors that are in the fall. So this is a more like loose leaf and you can spin around with this and I really like this. It is just a thin like material and then it has like a brown like slip thing underneath like sewed in like a uh, brown material in here so it's really nice and I like it and um, I got this from Kato um, it wasn't like recently I had this and just because it's not like brand new or whatever it does not mean it's not good um, it's really good if you don't really have the many fall things to go out and shop for some things but if you have some things in your closet that you have not worn since, because it's, you know, like, falls once a year, you have not wore that all year, then go ahead and do that. So this is a really, um, nice fit, and I like it. And now, I'm going to show you some miscellaneous, they're not miscellaneous shoes. They're in my closet, and they are just some shoes that, um, I think are really good. If you like to wear heels in the fall, like with your dresses, you may wear heels. If you like flats, you can wear flats. If you like wedges, you can wear wedges. Whatever you want is great. You can just moderate this to your own style. If you like this, um, you can comment below and you can go get it if you want. Um, I got it at Payless, and, um, it's, they're really nice shoes, and I'm pretty sure you can find them, or a pair really close to them. They are these like tan um comfort plus prediction shoes and they are the size eight because that's my size and it is um a really like cute little heel um and i don't really like the really tall heels um you can get a little tall i would say the most tall you should get is like five inches maybe six but i really don't i don't know how much i think this is about like four inches so it should just be like maybe half an inch bigger or like like this big maybe like that big I don't think it should be like a really tall because it's not very safe for your ankles and your feet and everything like that so and I and I wouldn't prefer this with every day if you go to a church you can wear it to a church you can wear it to a prom you can wear it to um just any celebration you want or you can just wear them on a regular day with a fancy little skirt and just enjoy and just because it's a regular day does not mean you can dress does not mean you cannot dress up um, it's really nice to have fun and dress up and enjoy yourself, so please do that, and, yeah. Okay, so, yes, next shoes, please. Thank you, Elizabeth, here. <laughs> okay, I just didn't buy on that one. <laughs> okay, these were, like, when I got these, they were, like, a little too big on my feet because these were a size 8. You're probably wondering why they're a little big. I think it's because they were a little wide on the, like, the right here part. The, like, where your ankle is, and it was a little, in the back here where the ankle is, was a little too big. But I can wear an eight, and I can wear an eight and a half. I usually do get that. But these do not, like, totally fit when I first got them, because I was a little younger. And now I'm a little older, so now they basically fit. Um, I still be a little careful with these. But I like these, because these are just a nice, like, turquoise blue color. And they are very, um, they're from Kato. As you can see, it says Kato on the bottom. It's a size eight. Um, unfortunately, it's made in China. Um, I'm not saying I have anything against China, but I really like things that are made in the USA. But if you want to get things that are not made in the USA, feel free to do so. Um, and this is just the, like, peep toes, and these are cute. If you want to wear these, like, when it starts to get, like, more fallish, you might want to wear, like, leotards or tights or, like, warmer things, like pantyhose, um, with these. Because if you don't, your feet are going to be freezing because there's peep toes and, like, open toe kind of shoe. 
So I can wear these for a little longer, and I'm so glad, but these are more of ones that are more like you should wear these in, like, the spring or the summer. These, I also, you can wear them in the fall because of the color, the Toy Cuts color, and that basically goes with a lot of different seasons. And before I get on to my last two pairs of shoes, I just want to show you what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing a green shirt, and in the back I have a twisted, um, like, swirl thing, and I pinned it on my hair. And if you want to know what I pinned it with, it was body pins. And, <laughs> um, this is just a flower from Kato. Um, it looks like this. And I do like Kato. I like Kohl's. I like the mall. I like a lot of different stores. So I really am not going to go into all that right now. And also, if you want to know about my nails, um, they are doing pretty good. I'm letting them grow pretty much. And I'm trying to get the nail polish. Like, I really like to touch things. I don't really like to wait because it's not, like, I don't really like to do it. But I do wait so they don't get all smudged up. So, these are just some of my nails, and you're probably like, ooh, look, they're pretty. Okay, I don't really want to tell you the trick on this one, but if you want to know, you're going to have to comment, and you're going to have to subscribe. So if you want to know what I did to my nails, to make them look this way, and if you want to know more about fall and more about things to wear in the fall, and more about different stuff, different topics, please comment below, and also subscribe, and have a blessed day. And then I just want to show you, I know I'm like saying one thing and I'm going on to another thing, but that's because of time and we have to get this video uploaded because I have not done videos in a couple of days and I'm sorry about that and yep, so let's give me on that one. And now I just want to show you these ones in the boxes. I thought this would be really cute to do because these are really good for the winter time and really good for the fall and these are like good like this with all year long, except in the summertime you don't want to wear that because you want to wear white shoes and that would be really good. So, this is called Bongo. Um, they were like 29 I think like 30 almost $30, but they were on sale and I got a good deal with this and I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was like 20 like $20, I think. And it was a good deal. And I got this at Sears, so if you're wondering about that. So I'm like, oh, I buy like really high shoes. That's not the point I'm trying to get across. It's just that I'm saying you can get good deals and if you look for them, it's really good. And also, I'm just trying to show you, like, stuff that you, that is really good that I wear. This I'm trying to show you what I do in the fall, and I just want you to give you some tips and ideas and helpful little keys um, about fall. That's what I'm trying to do here. So, this is a bongo shoe. Um, it has little flowers in the season, so you got flowers and you got winter. That's really interesting, because if you like the flowers and you like the spring and all that, you can get, you can get spring and you can get fall and you can get winter in one shoe. Which I could say on that one. Because at the bottom, look what you got. Leaves. Sorry about the little dirt. I think it's because, like, when you walk on the ground, you get your feet, your shoes get dirty on the bottom. So don't be like, oh, why is your shoes dirty on the bottom? I did not take time to wipe them off right this second. I do have clock wipes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so don't worry about that. And this is just a wedge shoe. I like the height. This is just a shoe that I prefer to get. Um, you can get brown. You can get... Um, brown, black, I don't know if you can get gray, but yeah, gray is not the fall color, and this is how they look in the box, yep, it's the bongo pair of shoes, I had, did not just get these, I have had these, and if you take good care of your shoes and keep them in the boxes, and you um, use them on appropriate outfits, and appropriate things, you don't like wear them out as much, but if you have a job that you have to walk a lot and stuff, you will wear your shoes, so... Shoes are just versatile, which I like, because you can wear them with different outfits, and if you get, like, black, brown, or gray, they, they go with a lot of different outfits, and if you get, like, other colors, then it only is going to go with certain outfits. So what I'm trying to say is to get colors that go with everything, because if you get the colors that go with everything, it will be very helpful in your life. And these are just some Cushion Air gray shoes with little sparkle things. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I ever showed you these before, they're an eight and a half and a medium. So that's the type of shoe I wear, and it comes in this box, Cushion Air Shoes, and hope you have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Hound Drop, y'all, please tune in. Woo! Saturday! woo -hoo! Come on. Please tune back in, then please tune in on Monday, and please tune in on Wednesday. Thank you. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.